I don't actually have a champagne flute. It's a whiskey glass, but it'll do. Spa treatment. Hello beautiful people! This week is Valentine's Day! Yeah! I know, I know. It's a commercialised holiday designed to make single people feel bad and couples feel pressurised. It's not full of joy like it should be. But I've always used it as a bit of an excuse to do what I want to do. So in today's video we're going into six different ways that you can enjoy Valentine's Day for yourself. So there you go. Roll the titles. Often we focus on love as in love for other people and love for a significant other, but we really shouldn't forget about love for ourselves. Whether you have a partner or not, you should really take time to love and celebrate yourself. So this is what I really want to do this Valentine's, is celebrate us as individuals and the love that we should have for ourselves because it is a cliche, but you can't love anybody else without loving yourself first. So use that Valentine's Day as an excuse to treat you. Take the pressure off everybody else, take the pressure off yourself, and treat yourself. So, six ways to treat yourself this Valentine's Day. The first way is the obvious way. It is belly treats. It is things that you can do for yourself, that you can go out, buy and have for yourself. That's champagne, that's chocolates, that's your favourite meal being cooked for yourself. Oh. Valentine's Day is just an excuse for you to eat and consume all those things that you otherwise would leave for special occasions. This is a special occasion. Treat it as one. Treat it as one for yourself. It's amazing. It's the anti-Christmas. It's not about other people and about family and about spending all of your energy on other people. It's about spending energy on yourself. It's fantastic. It's okay to be selfish sometimes, so long as it is not all the time. So go out, get your favourite chocolate, go get a bottle of Prosecco for yourself, or a bottle of wine, or whatever it is that you want to do. Make yourself that favourite meal, make yourself that special meal, and really treat yourself this Valentine's. The second way is the most fun way that you can be celebrating Valentine's Day, and that is date night. But date night with yourself. If you're in a couple, you can do this as well. All you gotta do is plan your perfect date and take yourself on it. It sounds weird at first if you've never done it before, it sounds kind of pathetic, but once you start doing it, especially if you do it regularly, you start to really genuinely enjoy taking yourself out to the movies, taking yourself out to dinner, because you get to do it all on your own terms. You get to do what you want to do, the things that you like doing, all on your own terms and without any pressures from anybody else getting in the way of you having your own fun. So dress yourself up fancy, dress yourself up nice, figure out what you like doing and go and do it. Whether it's going to the movies, whether it's taking yourself out to dinner, whether it's just staying at home with a bubble bath and that glass of wine and those chocolates and Netflix. Treat yourself to a date night. Do the thing that you love doing without the pressure of other people. And if you're in a couple, Valentine's Day doesn't have to be just one day. You can do things by yourself, it's important to do things by yourself, but you can also do the things that you guys like doing. Switch off to the rest of the world and let it just be about you or you and your partner and just don't listen to anybody else. Follow your own fun and do the thing that you love doing. I'm really getting riled up and wanting my own bubble bath. The third thing that you should be doing this Valentine's, whether you're in a couple or not, is mind love. What the hell do you mean by mind love, Jen? By this I mean take some time out of your day, out of your week, to sit down and really appreciate your own self in your own being, your own person. Think about yourself as you think about your best friend, as you think about your significant other, as you think about anybody that you love and admire. Because ultimately we are all worth loving and we're all worth admiring and the first person who's got to do that is ourselves. So sit down, write a list, write a love letter to yourself, 
talking about all the things that you really love about yourself. Then, once you've got it in your head, once you've actually literally looked at the things that you like about yourself and that you love about yourself, you can then start really focusing on that and it'll probably make you a little bit happier. It's so healthy, it so is, it sounds ridiculous because we've built a stupid society that doesn't appreciate us actually appreciating ourselves, but it is really healthy to have a healthy, strong, good opinion of yourself. So start this Valentine's Day. Number four is space love. Not space love, but space love. Wherever you are this week, or wherever you are on Valentine's evening or Valentine's Day, really look around the space and see how you can make it cozier and make it more enjoyable. This is kind of the Marie Kondo bit of Valentine's Day. She says, if you look at something and it gives you joy, keep it. If it doesn't give you joy, get rid of it. I'm not saying be as extreme, but what I'm saying is look at the space around you, look at your room, look at your house and think, is this giving me joy? Do I want flowers? It is okay buying yourself flowers. They're beautiful. I do it all the time. They give me joy. I have them in little vases and little bottles around my room. If I don't have flowers in them, I just look like an alcoholic, but they are kept just to put flowers in them because I like my flowers. So. Don't wait for somebody else to buy you Valentine's Day flowers. Go buy flowers for yourself. Go cozy up your bed, get some blankets, get some pillows. Mm. However you like to have your space, do that for yourself. And you never know, it may become a tradition, it may become a regular thing. I, every Valentine's Day, for the last few years have bought myself a single red rose because that is the Valentine's Day thing that you do and everybody thinks I'm weird for doing it but it is just a little token from me to me to say hey I appreciate you and here's a flower because I know you like flowers you don't have to rely on other people to get you the things that you like just go get them for yourself it doesn't have to be flowers it doesn't have to be blankets maybe it's art you know you so you do you Step five is self-love, not in that way, or maybe in that way, I don't know. This can really tie in with step number three, uh, but it's about taking time for yourself to just sit and be by yourself for a bit. We all give all of our energy away all the time. The world demands it. We give it to our friends, we give it to our family, we give it to our work, we give it to social media. We Every single moment of every single day, it feels like we're just pouring our energy out to other people. But you should also pour it back in to yourself. So Valentine's Day is the perfect excuse to just say, no, everybody, no, I'm giving it back to me. I'm filling myself back up. I'm giving that energy and that love back to myself. You can also take time to meditate if that's what you are into or take time just to relax and unwind and just have a quiet moment just with yourself and with your own mind. So use Valentine's Day as an excuse to recharge, to pamper yourself. If you want to book a spa day, go book a spa day. You don't need somebody else to book a spa day. It's actually really enjoyable if you do it by yourself. The pre-disclaimer of this is I am very much a people person. I like having people around me. I feel like I'm spending a lot of time preaching about spending time with yourself. But step number six is share the love. Love, especially at Valentine's Day, gets really focused in on the significant other, the boyfriend, the girlfriend, the whoever it is that is in your life as that person. But love comes in different ways and it comes from and to various different other people. You've got your friends, you've got your family, you've got your colleagues, you've got the people in your life, you've got your pets. There are still people that we love and there are still people who need love and need appreciation. So as much as I'm preaching, go and spend time for yourself and pamper yourself and be a little bit selfish. It's gonna also feel good for you to go and appreciate your friends and appreciate your family and show them that appreciation and that love. Valentine's Day cards and Valentine's-y typey typey things, it shouldn't be weird to give those to friends because at least I love my friends. So share that love. Everyone loves chocolate. 
And if they don't, they probably like cake. Any excuse for cake, man. Any excuse for cake. <gasps> I need cake. This week, the bee in my bonnet really is about breaking Valentine's in half. Breaking it up, destroying it, and saying Valentine's Day isn't just about couples, it's about love, it's about compassion, it's about all of those different things, and we shouldn't feel weird about sharing that love for ourselves, with ourselves. So take Valentine's Day, use it as an excuse to do what you want to do and really appreciate yourself and have a good week. Like, comment, subscribe and do you and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> I know what I'm getting myself this Valentine's. Cake! <laughs>